I'm one of those who it was because of Easter time that I got saved. Because one of the cultures or the tradition of the Nigerian people or the Nigerian Christian here is that during Easter week, they have what they call outreaches. They go out to, for evangelism. And during this evangelism, they will have a place like an open football field where they will be preaching and showing Jesus' film, Jesus' crucifixion film. So I was attending some of those sessions. And in one of the sessions where uh, they presented how Jesus was crucified and gave a message explaining how that is tied to what I have done, my sins. Uh, the need for me to receive Jesus because of this is what he has done to save me from my sins. I have never had that message. Prior to this, I was a Roman Catholic member, you know, going to the Catholic church, but I've never had anybody talking to me that I need to receive Jesus Christ. So at this point, after watching the film, I was given, they call it outer call. So I went forward and was convicted of my sins and I confessed my sins, I became a Christian. So every Easter time just wind up back for me. It, it enacted that experience. In fact, the day I was, I gave my life to Jesus, I felt like God take me today, I don't want to sin again. I want to go and uh, just go to heaven so that I will just enjoy my salvation. <laughs> I didn't know that God still wants me to do the work I'm now doing. You know, if I had died then, I would not be the provost, I would not be writing books, I would not be doing what I'm doing now. So I thank God that he's, he, didn't, he didn't answer that prayer. He allows me to experience more Easter's. So for me, Easter is a very, very important important historical experience that I cannot, it's real for me. Easter is real. It's a joy to know Easter. 